What's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and as you'll see in this one and as the title indicated I a couple of days ago ran out of battery and had to pull over on the side of the road even though the yeah. binnacle said I had four yeah. miles of range left. So it was an interesting experience. Um, this is the second time that I've run out of uh, battery uh, whereas the, the first time that I ran into battery I intentionally um, pushed it and drove for quite a while actually when it said zero whereas this time I got to you know four miles and it just all of a sudden said it was gonna shut down so it's an interesting situation I'll bring this incident up next time I'm at the service center it does concern me a little bit and hopefully Tesla can give me some more insight into why that happened I don't think that it should it just seems like if you can't rely on what, how many miles remain on the car and what it indicates, then how do you know when it's about to run out? So thanks for watching this one. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that and hit a like if you found it valuable. And if you are in the market for a new or inventory Model S or Model X, please use my referral code down below. It's going to get you $1,000 off through the end of October 2017. Uh, it'll also get you unlimited free supercharging through the end of this year. And if I can answer any other questions, feel free and put them in the comments down below. Well, I've been uh, wanting to do a test to figure out how many kilowatt hours my battery has in the battery pack and how much it's degraded. And um, I inadvertently found out tonight I'm on the side of the road waiting for a tow truck because the car does not want to move at all. It said I had four miles of range left. I'm like half a mile away from a charger, but um, it does not want to move anymore. So if you're curious to know, after 85,000 miles, how many kilowatt hours the battery can go until it reaches zero? 51 Point three. I was doing quite a bit of mountain driving tonight. Did quite a bit of mountain driving, so I mean the, the miles of range is probably not that accurate. You can see here 300 watts per mile, quite high. Anything below 200 or maybe 170 is, is probably ideal. The real kind of note here is is there's about 51 kilowatt hours that I've gotten this battery. Now I don't know what it started out at. Um, brand new, how many kilowatt hours was available. Uh, so I don't know truly how much has degraded over the 85,000 miles, but this is at least a good, a good benchmark to use for 12 months from now. So we got a call that the tow truck is coming to come pick me up. Sounds like he's familiar with uh, picking up Teslas. So um, shouldn't be long here. This is probably the worst part of, of uh, waiting for a tow truck is normally they take a really long time, but it uh, sounds like this one is on his way and uh, should be not too long from now that uh, we'll get this thing hooked up and on the flatbed and to a supercharger, which is, I don't know, maybe five miles away. Um, that's probably the better, the better option instead of this um, one at, at the public library that's half a mile away. Uh, I'd like to get home as soon as possible. The binnacle screen has now powered down. It was lit up for a while. I'm hoping that there's still some 12 volt juice in the battery because if not, then I'm gonna have to pop off the front nose cone and have the tow truck give me a jump so that I can get the display up and put the car in neutral. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a hassle. Uh, I hate this. This happened one other time to me, so I'm uh, unfortunately I'm familiar with the process. Um, and uh, the last situation, I actually uh, pushed the battery probably more than I should have. Uh, it said zero for for quite a while, whereas this time uh, the battery died at four miles of range left. I'm a bit concerned about that. I wish that the display, as far as range left on the battery, would be a little bit more accurate. It definitely would help know. I mean, I guess next time I just have to plan a little bit better 
uh, to charge up sooner. But still, I mean, if I'm in a situation like I was tonight where I didn't have the opportunity to charge until probably two miles or three miles, maybe two miles left on, on the battery, I would like for, I would have liked for it to have gotten me to where I needed to be to plug in. Tow truck is just arriving. Let's see if we can power up the screen here. Open the door. Nothing. We need to pop off the, the nose cone. That's what the nose cone looks like off of the car. And it just goes right there. So we're trying to jump the 12 volt. It's taking a little while, so he's going to charge up the uh, charger from his truck. It's, See, I didn't know this. So yeah. This is a learning experience for me, too. Yeah, now you'll know for next time someone's uh, silly enough to run right. their battery down. Well, it happens to, it happens to the best of us. Sure. Boy, they should have made it where you can pop this open Yeah. and go in from there. The problem is, though, this is, the, the hood is, it's electronic. So there's oh. no, like, there's, there's, no, there, there's no lever. There's no mechanical oh. lever to pull to release it. Okay, we got the uh, the binnacle up. Good, 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 so, good. So, oh, yeah, we got the display lighting up. Okay. All right, so have you seen how to put it in neutral? No. Okay, ahead. I'll show you. Once it powers up here. You've got settings, bot or controls bottom, bottom left uh -huh. here. So you tap that, and then it's under e-brake power off. Okay. So we want to get it in neutral. So let's see here. Uh, it might might need a little bit. So normally it's lit up in blue. So let me hold the uh, brake down and see if that engages it. Not yet. May may need a moment more. It's got to be in blue before you can. Uh, press it and put it in neutral. Now we got tow truck number two here because this little the jumper that did try to jump the 12 volt with wasn't doesn't have enough juice. So now I'm gonna pull up the big dog. Okay, I am at a supercharger, except I'm not supercharging yet because the tow truck is too tall to get into this parking garage here. So he dropped me off right next to it, and Tesla actually has some destination chargers, um, and the cord is actually long enough to reach. So I'm going to charge it up, hopefully enough, to drive it around and plug it into a supercharger and get some quicker juice. West Side Towing, big ups to you. Fantastic, super friendly. Really, really appreciate you guys for being so nice and patient while I get my car to where it needs to be. At zero miles with destination charging. A full charge would take a full eight and a half hours from nothing. Pulling 40 amps and 206 volts. Not the funnest thing to wait around. I really must have. I really must have drained that battery pretty, pretty good. It's so weird though that it said four miles left of range, um, and then it just died. It makes it kind of tricky to know how much you actually have, and it would be helpful if it was accurate.
if four miles truly meant four miles. So finally got enough juice from the destination charger to plug into supercharging. Look at that. It's already, it took like 45 minutes to get seven miles and now it just instantly added one mile of range from the supercharger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the nose cone, put that back on and hang out for a little while. Look, it's insane. It's so quick. Amazing. I'm going to put the nose cone back nose cone nose cone back on it's late and uh, hopefully be gone here soon so here's the nose cone you see the back of it it's just these these clips All right, 68 miles, that's good enough. It's probably only 10 miles to get home. So plenty of range, I'm tired. It's one in the morning, I'm thirsty and I have to pee. You know, running out of juice tonight has really got me thinking about a longer range battery. Uh, I've been thinking about it before I ran out of uh, battery today, I've been thinking about what to do with the Model 3 reservation versus, you know, long range Model S. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, costing the Model 3 long range battery is definitely appealing. I do like, I do like all the bells and whistles of the Model S. Uh, but the price is just so expensive. So that extra 100, 110 miles with the Model 3 definitely looks quite appealing after tonight. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. What are your thoughts? Do you think I pushed my battery too hard? Have you ever had something like this happen before in your Tesla? Put it in the comments down below. Would love to see your feedback. And if you have not hit like, subscribe, please do that now. And if you are in the market for a new Model S or X or inventory Model S or Model X, please use my referral link down below. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.